In the middle of April, projects living together with difficult memories and diverse identities, known as living memories, partner workshop took place in Riga in the Advanced Social and Political Institute of the Faculty of Social Sciences of University of Latvia. The project is implemented in program Aeronet Rus Plus. This is the first social science and humanities project that is implemented in this program and focuses on the cooperation between European and Russian scientists. The workshop was organized by the Social Memory Research Center. Researchers from Finland, which is leading partner of project, Russia, Estonia, Germany, Turkey and Latvia shared their experiences and agreed on common approach to the scientific research of problematic memories and identities. This Eralet Rus Plus project uh, is specially targeted to cooperation with uh, Russian scholars and then scholars from EU countries and also there's countries like Turkey involved who are not yet EU members but are members in the research co cooperation in, in EU. That's very important to study, uh, make a comparative research on this team with Russia and other European countries because we share a common history and of course we have these countries have been in many phases been on a different <coughs> different size but anyway we <coughs> we share a common history of the last hundred years first and second world war and and other dramatic historical events well we are going to <coughs> make make research about the processes of how difficult memories can can be pro can be discussed and and, and processed and and how to promote dialogue and reconciliation and different forms of reconciliation of difficult memories. And that's something that is important in the processing of these difficult and, uh, and uh, delicate and sensitive events of the past. Well, um, if, I, if I start from Estonian point of view, then Estonian team is, um, uh, is studying uh, the processes of post-memory which means um, the practices and, and activities and initiatives of memory um, initiated by uh, groups of people or people who um, have not experienced a difficult uh, uh, events, a traumatic events, which um, resulted in difficult memories. So, um, uh, by doing such, such this kind of research, the academics have the opportunity to uh, uh, to reflect what they know uh, about the traumatic experience, traumatic uh, um, memories of others, of um, of uh, older uh, generations, to the people who. Um, uh, deal with them uh, in the society uh, from the perspective of uh, future generations. There is some memory, but really the memory is to come later on because there is still the conflict. Uh, there is still the conflict and there is even kind of war. So, uh, so this will be very important to hear the experiences and how uh, the, what kind of research has been done on memories and the reconciliation process, how these memories and this research helped. So it is especially crucial for us from this perspective that it's very current for us and we hope that we gain experience, that we go back with lots of uh, ideas and uh, thoughts and yes. A great, I think the great advantage of this project is that we look at the issue of memory and conflict from an inter disciplinary and an international perspective. So we have different country teams looking at this topic, look, looking at different kinds of conflicts in the past and how they're memorized, how they're remembered, how maybe also the memory is changed or silenced about them. And we look at this, at different cases of this from different countries and we come from different disciplines. So that's a challenge, but also a huge advantage for this project. And I think this will be also the main benefit of bringing this research on memory and conflict together. Я считаю, что для общества в целом этот вопрос 
вопрос, конечно, очень важен, потому что а, вообще он поднимает очень серьезную проблему выхода из травмы, проблему а, встраивания в мирную жизнь, примирения, поиска компромиссов, согласия в обществе. Я думаю, что, конечно, для общества в целом этот вопрос очень важен сам по себе. А что касается академического сообщества, то здесь можно отметить, что а, действительно эта тема привлекает а, внимание исследователей, историков, и у нас а, открыт, открыта возможность изучать ее, используя архивы, используя не только архивы, между прочим, но и устные воспоминания, потому что еще живы люди, которые пережили какие-то катастрофы 20 века, и очень важно успеть записать вот, э, их интервью для того, чтобы сохранить память о будущем нашим потомкам, память о прошлом, для того, чтобы такое прошлое не могло повторяться. И это, конечно, очень важно. Ja mēs runājam par akadēmisko sabiedrību, tad tas, protams, ir uh, starptautiskā atmeņa pētnieku tīkla veidošanās, un uh, arī šo piecu valstu uh, sadarbība noteikti būs uh, ļoti interesanta un bagātinās katru no partneriem, bet, ja mēs runājām par iegūmiem, tad tā, protams, ir uh, domājams uh, pienesums atmeņas pētniecības metodoloģijā. Salīdzinošās uh, studijas uh, Latvijā liels iegūms ir skats no malas, kā ļaudis pētnieki, zinoši pētnieki paraugās uz mūsu situāciju no malas, jo tā mēs tikai kļūstam redzīgāki. The researchers groups introduced their research conceptions agreed on the project's cooperation with Riga Summer School, where short documentaries dedicated to memory issues will be produced on August this year, as well as on the development of collective monograph, which will consist of about 15 articles. Research groups will present and discuss their interim results on the second workshop in Istanbul early next year. On the second day of the workshop, participants went on an excursion to visit the significant memorials for the social memory and identity of Latvia. Participants acknowledged that the workshop was very valuable and well organized. The project will last two years and its final workshop will be held in Helsinki in August next year. Laura Ardava, Eva Harmana Jans Balders, University of Latvia, Media and Marketing Center.